What's shaking, folks? This is Mad Cardigan, and welcome to Fallout 4 Clear the Map. That's right, this is going to be an extreme long form uh, video series. Uh, we are going to, in honor of the new Fallout TV series that just popped up, I figured I'd play this. Uh, I've played this game, you know, pretty extensively. I'm by no means an expert or anything like that, but. Um, I know my way well enough to, to get everything done. Uh, the goal in this is to uh, complete this game. I'm talking, when you look at that map, nothing is undiscovered. When you are looking at your compass, there are no uh, hollow uh, forms on it. Everything is filled in by the end of this. Lord knows how many episodes this is going to take or how long it's going to take, but I'm glad you're with me. So sit back and enjoy this. If you have any uh, questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try to answer it all. Uh, let's see. We're going to go ahead and collect everything we can. You never know what you're going to need. Uh, I'm going to do my best to not die. <laughs> we'll have a kill counter, but let's, let's try not to die during this uh, this playthrough. That would be an achievement for me, making it through a long playthrough without one death. Uh, we'll do our best. Let's put it that way. Uh, the regular rules apply not playing on survival that just makes the video or makes the series so much longer I, I do like survival mode i've played a little bit of it but after a while it's just the the lack of fast travel you know and stuff like that and you know dealing with just random illnesses you know, it is fun but uh for video purposes it may not be the best idea so we're gonna take advantage of fast travel let's put it that way Oh my god. This can't be happening. This isn't happening. Isn't happening? What are you talking about? Oh my, but you look distraught. Oh, perhaps the missus can offer one of those hugs you humans are so fond of. Hmm? Speaking of which, where is your better half? They... They killed her. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? He's gone. God damn it. Someone took him. Someone stole my son. It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> 200 years? What? Are you... A bit over 210, actually, sir. Or oh, give or take a little. For the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? <laughs> you must be famished. Cards Try this. You're acting... check. A little this bit is weird. a guaranteed one. What's wrong? I... I... Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing! Yeah. And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house <laughs> and the car. The car! How do you polish rust? Whoa, whoa. Focus, Codsworth. Uh, I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were... dead. I did find this... hollow tape. I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. Well, it's something. 
Let it serve as a reminder, sir, of happier days. Now, yeah, I'll do that. Enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The missus and young Sean may turn up yet. Heck no, I'm not sharing my experience points with you. You're not my companion yet. There's nothing left here. It's all gone. Well, if you wish to venture to parts unknown, I won't stop you. I shall guard the neighborhood in your absence. Been doing a bang up job so far. Alright, let's take a look around. Uh, it's going to be a little looting here. I'm playing this, you know, under the assumption that 99% of the people that are going to watch this have played this game and are familiar with it. I obviously skipped the, the, uh, the beginning portion, which just kind of drags on. Uh, just checking my uh, perk tree uh, to see what I need to dump an extra point into. We're going to go for a, um, a sneaky sniper, probably, you know, a heavy um, sneak and uh, vats build. It's pretty powerful. So we'll stick it into luck. Can't go wrong with some luck. But yeah, like I said, you know, I, I assume most people have played this game, so they're somewhat familiar with it. Um, you were frozen in a, for those of you who weren't, you were frozen in a, a vault for uh, over 200 years. And someone came in at some point, woke you up for just a sec, long enough for you to watch your wife be shot there by a bald bad guy that looks like Jason Statham. And then your baby was taken by uh, some scientists in hazmat suits. And then they refroze you, put you back to sleep. So you woke up, don't know what's going on. All you know is your wife's dead and your baby's gone and you're pissed off at everybody. So let's uh, explore the local wildlife. We know that the roaches are really big now, so we're assuming everything else is. Yep, there's a giant house fly. All right, checking out the VAT system. Oh, look out. Oh, that looks painful. Right in my forehead. Messing up my hair too, probably. And you grab everything that looks valuable. In this game, you know, you play Bethesda games, you never know, as far as crafting goes, what you might need later, so you get in the habit of picking up just useless items or, or what seem to be useless items. Pardon my uh, my voice. I'm a little, a little scratchy today. I've been sick for about a week, so but I couldn't put off recording this any longer. So bear with me. Hopefully my voice will improve throughout the series and back to its sultry tones later on. Got it. Expert lock picker. I don't even know why I look through any of this stuff. I, I end up grabbing it all anyway. Bobby pins always useful. Okay, for those of you who don't know, back around uh, the the rear of this house, there's a, a, a root cellar. A couple of goodies in it. Always take the drugs. Drugs, if nothing else, are valuable to sell. Value to weight ratio is really good. I usually don't take the food because I don't eat with it. If you're not in survival mode, it's really no point in eating that stuff. A safe there that is uh, too high for me to open. It's advanced, so but these gold bars are they can be valuable, and also there are certain items that you may need gold to craft. You know, so hang on to everything. You have an unlimited chest in each one of these settlements that you can just dump all your stuff into. Another little secret. My balancing act here. I'm on the uh, balance beam. Get up on this house and there's a, a bag with some more stuff in it. Hopefully, if nothing else, this is just the way I would normally play this game. Um, like I said, I'm no expert. I do not know the ins and outs of this or any of that stuff. It's just, uh, but if there's something I'm showing you that that uh, you haven't done before, haven't seen before, all the better. Ooh, I guess he had one right behind him. Don't hit me in the forehead again, please. You woke up and saw this. You'd be horrified. Two foot tall house flies. The shit at you. Come 
most of these houses, the only thing you really go through these things for in, uh, in sanctuary at the beginning is obviously just a few clothing items, maybe bobby pins, a few meds here and there. I mean, it's just a domestic environment. It's not probably not going to be the, the arsenal or anything that you'd hope, but there are a few guns scattered about. Kind of wonder why, you know, these safes that are in these houses that are 200 years old, they kept pipe pistols, which didn't exist 200 years ago. And there's obviously no one living here now. Sweet. But they have to arm you. Got to get you ready for the wasteland. Oh, that was a good one. Another stem pack. Sorry if I'm sniffling or, or if I have to cough. I'll mute the mic or I'll try to. Y'all can be you know, sick with me. It's not catching. Not for you at least. Oh, the blessed workshops. First thing I always do is make myself a little nest here. With fast travel, you can come back here, you know, at a second's notice, dump stuff, save your game, you know, take a nap. So I normally grab a few resources and uh, grab these houses. Usually they're they're worth just a, a ton, plus they're an eyesore and they're in the way. So if you're trying to get around, just get rid of them. All that stuff goes automatically to your bench. It's all materials. What do y'all think about the new uh, Fallout series? I, I watched it the other day all the way through. I was pretty impressed. I, I like the ghoul character, you know, the, the cowboy. He's a pretty good guy. Make you a bed, make you a storage container here. I'll, I just do it for convenience, separate stuff out. You know, if you grab some uh, legendary stuff, you don't want to just dump it in with the thousands of things you have in your regular storage, so... Just a little side box. Alrighty. But yeah, that the TV show is pretty impressive. It had me uh, guessing most of the way through. I won't spoil any of it if you guys haven't sir, seen it yet, but it's worth a watch. Sir, and I'll initiate my search protocols. Codsworth. I already I got the really XP, looked. buddy. Don't need you. They're not here. Then they're really gone, aren't they? No, oh, sir. Sean's out there, Codsworth. I need to find him. What about Codsworth? Find my sir? baby boy. Plenty of people there. And last I checked, they only pummeled me with sticks a few times before I had to run back home. Thanks for your help, Codsworth. Good luck, sir. You'll find young Sean. I know you will. I shall remain here and secure the home from. All right, let's finish clearing out these the rest of these houses here. See if there's uh, anything we can use. Normal stuff. Bunch of empty dressers. Uh, make sure you always check for the medicine cabinets. You know, without fail, they'll have something useful, either a stem pack or bobby pins. For some reason, they keep bobby pins in their in their medicine cabinets. But a few cap stashes here or there. I'm gonna play in you know a lot of varied ways. Ooh, bandana, that'll work. I have a special, special buddy that can wear that. I'm sure you all know who I'm talking about. Got a roach problem here. That looks like a solid hit to me. Never trust your own aim. Always trust bats. Always double tap on VAT. See, 95 is the best you're going to get. Well, that doesn't always work. All right, med kits. I like those. Folks are really uptight about their clothing. Locked everything up in these suitcases. Oh, there goes my bobby pin. Yeah, there'll be more. 
nice. Right, clean blue suit. Always on the lookout for that charisma gear, trying to pass your speech checks. One of your stats helps you uh, convince people in those uh, yellow, orange, and red speech checks. You know, the higher your charisma, the the better a chance you have of passing those. So. I'd left their needle laying there. That is a secure safe. infamous terminals and the the hacky minigame not even going to try to explain this it's uh <laughs> it's just a, a pain in the butt when i normally play it i'm playing with no mods during this playthrough I, i'm pretty much a purist when it comes to bethesda games there are some very talented people that make some fantastic mods out there and if the game gets boring for you there's no reason not to to throw some in there this is one of the my weaknesses as far as the mods go. I will put in a mod that automatically will unlock these if you have oh, a high wow. enough skill level. You have you still have to put the skill points in it to unlock harder and harder terminals, but I don't like going through those things. <laughs> they take forever. They're not particularly hard because you can back out and you know reset your tries, but it's just uh, can get a little time consuming. Time is something I cannot spare. Stuff to do. Babies to save. I'm going to get out because I'm psychic. And I know there's a roach right under this bush. There we go. First level up. Anybody who's anybody knows where this is going. The old idiot savant. Now everything you do has a chance of giving you three times the experience. And the dumber you are, which I have intelligence one, uh, the higher chance it is of... of uh, giving you that little perk there one good thing is uh, I won't do it in this one but there's a way to um, save scum for for different things if you know if you're wanting a speech check or you're wanting a, uh, that idiot savant to hit then you can right before the event happens like right before you turn in a quest or right before you attempt a speech check you can just quick save it and then over and over and over again keep hitting it until you get that that idiot savant to to trigger it's kind of cheesy but you know that's something bethesda allows in their games bethesda allows you to play like you want to play you can make it as hard or as easy as you want now, when I'm playing a game, I expect to feel like a Superman in most of these things, so I'm not looking for a painful experience. I don't play on death difficulty or anything like that. Uh, let's see. We'll get the... Store all the stuff. Grab a bunch of stuff that's going to go into here and will never be seen again. Usually keep the drugs on me. Obviously keep your stem packs. Miscellaneous, most of that doesn't weigh anything. Ammo doesn't weigh anything. Does not survival, but not in, in regular mode like this. Okay. So that's pretty much the cycle. You loot. You go and drop it all off to get your weight down. Make sure you have your best stuff on. And then you head out again. Go and find you a new fast travel point, you know, to get a little further and further away from your home base. 
favorite these and the quick slots Molotov I'm sure I'll set myself on fire multiple times uh, the Rataway right and the Rad X are good things to put in your hot bar. Your stim pack start out there. It's a quick way to heal. Some people will put their, you know, the, the psychos and the jets and all that stuff in there. And if you're playing a melee character, or you know, you're playing on extreme hard difficulty, or you have some type of extreme challenge rules, like you can't you can't die once in your round or something like that. Then yeah, those the drugs are really important. Drugs are bad, so I don't take them. And I say that, I'll probably end up taking something before this is over. Alright. The iconic red rocket. Gas station. We meet our buddy dog meat. Come here, boy. Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? You want to come with me, pal? Okay, then. Let's stick together. Okay, let's do it. I don't want to go too deep in here right now. Uh, you trigger a little mole rat invasion if you start digging around too much, but... Yeah, I, may, I may as well get it. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's get it over with. have to come back through here at some point don't want to sneak it up on me then always listen for them you hear them pop out of the ground mole rats are mole rats and rad scorpions and I thought in the older games the these things didn't pop out of the ground on you. This, this Fallout 4 loves to put stuff underground to where it can sneak up on you now. Many a true nerd. It's another uh, YouTube channel out there. But, uh, he does a You Only Live Once run. It's very entertaining. The guy, John, is a He's a guru at these games, and uh, yeah, this Fallout 4 gave him fits, you know, because <laughs> everything can sneak up on you. And when you're not allowed to heal, sleep, or anything, you have to go through the entire game on one health bar. That's a, that's a tough sell. Oh, there he is. I knew I heard that guy. Back your butt to a corner, because they can't come up through the tile in here. they got to be out in the ground, thankfully. Oop, there's one. Oh my. Fantastic reaction time. Come on. Dog can open doors. It's awesome. Whoop. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, look how sneaky they are. Whoa. Slow as my reaction time, dog meat's even slower. You need to help me out here, buddy. I'm still in danger. There's one around. How you let him run right past you? You're never going to make it in the NFL blocking like that, buddy. Grab stuff. Said you never know. You'll be trying to craft something or make something, you know, 10, 15, 20 hours into this game, and you'll be like, you know what? I needed a mole rat tooth. And then you spend two hours trying to find a mole rat that never exists or never comes for you. Who wouldn't need brain fungus? A lot of funguses around here. 
I do remember years and years and years ago when I first played this game. I think I picked up every single thing in like the first several dungeons I was in. I'm sure you did the same thing when no one had it worked out yet. What exactly was needed for crafting, what was important, what wasn't. Take that! Sneak attack. Sneak attacks are going to be a big part of my game. Might as well practice now. See, he's underground. These little sneaky bastards. Oh, there. Where is he? Oh, yep, there he is. I love dog meat, but boy, companions give away. Okay, while you're down here, I always grab, if you do want charisma gear, there's a good set of glasses right here. Black rim glasses give you a point of charisma. Anytime you put on, like, uh, clothing, a hat, glasses, you know, you can you can add three, four, five points of charisma to your, your stat, which I'm sitting at three right now. Uh, just because I want the Lone Wanderer stat, and I'm sure all of you know about that one as well, that perk. Stock up on what else is in this nasty little hole. There's one more big guy down here. Mother, brood mother or something. Ah, oh, just rabbit. Okay. No match from a sneak attack. Pant a little quieter. Got a lab in real life that does the same thing. Sits there right next to you and he hasn't been running. He's a lazy old dog. He just sits there and, and pants. <laughs> Guess it's his right. He is a dog. Thank you, what a gentleman. I always have room for a quantum. Keep this for salesman at the door. Okay, what is that? Okay, ashtray. Oh yeah, whole box of bobby pins. More drugs. Okay, what is the whoop? What are you doing over there? You're supposed to be on that Brahmin course for a corpse behind me. This is probably a dumb idea. These things are so hard to hit. Oh, now I'm in danger. Oh, oh I'm coming out from both ways. Fantastic. Small targets until they get close to you. Ah, come on. <laughs> the old-fashioned way. Where did the other one go? I must have triggered him for some reason. Usually I can go right, right past him. Yeah, they're normally right up here on this Brahmin corpse. All hides are good for leather. Once you start crafting armor and upgrading stuff, you're going to need that later. Ooh, I hear gunfire. Just having a party.
Okay, so these will be my first humans since I've left the vault that I've seen. I wonder if they're friendly. What the chances in this world. If we ever invent vaults in real life, as soon as one of us wakes up, we'll be like, oh, hell no. I've played Bethesda games before. I know exactly how this is going to go. Shoot everybody on first sight. Don't even talk to them. Okay, let's see. Yep, start polluting the corpses. Make sure we have everything set here. Before you go into battle. Usually try to keep something here or there just as far as uh, different ammo types, different distances, things like that. Never know what you're going to need. Here's my first victim. See, for all I know right now, the guy up on the balcony with the laser gun could be the bad guy. I've never met any of these people. Oh, look at that shot. You have a good spot up there, but you got no cover, buddy. Oh. Got him. Let's hey, hope he's a friendly here, one. On the balcony. I've got a group of settlers inside. The raiders are almost through the door. Grab that laser musket and help us, please! Alright, another quest to turn in. Let's get some XP. Oh, this should put me into the next level. There we go. Yeah! Oh, yeah, watch out. This little thief. You don't need a laser musket. But I will trade you for, where's that thing at? There it is, bandana and welding goggles. As far as I know, it's the only eyewear that he can wear. Boom, now you're cute. You're a good dog. Okay, grab the ammo and usually ammo, stim packs, Every once in a while, one of them will have a piece of armor that's better than what you're wearing. Look for the little plus signs. Like that right arm there. I don't wear stuff on my head normally. on this level okay lone wander and we haven't really approached a ah that's what we need a rifleman Get that damage up quick Yeah, and I think if you if dog meat steals that uh, that rifle, um, and you don't get it, I think it glitches out the quest, or I've heard it, or heck, it might have happened to me at some point. So you got to make sure you get the get the thing from him. All right, dog meat, let's go help these folks. Go. Oh, don't fall. Oh, <laughs> oh. 
I've never seen that guy fall off before. That's awesome. Yeah. Stupid. Yeah, might as well check him. It just means I don't have to deal with you later. Cigarettes don't smoke. Cannot remember why you take cigarettes or some component in them. Can't remember which one it was. Sorry about the sniffles. Jack and apes. Whoa, you snuck up on me. Come on, there you go. Look at that. 87%. Whiffed. There's a bobby pin or a few bobby pins on top of this terminal. Or you can give it a shot. Let's go ahead and torture myself here. Okay. That's a good start. Two likenesses right off the bat. Uh, I figure the O and the E are the, the common, but not necessarily. Well, crap, I'm going to have to go through one at a time. Okay. So the word power, there's two likenesses in it. The word codes, there's two likenesses in it. They have to be the same letter and in the same position. So go through each one. P-O-W-E-R, nope. P-O-W-E-R, nope. Nope. P-O, that, P-O-W-E-R, yep. C-O-D-E-S, the E-S matches the codes, all right. Yet another fusion core. up all the fusion cords you can always look for those generators it's always a good thing for uh, power armor things like that and uh, like I said unless you're playing in survival mode they don't weigh anything so and they're also pretty pretty valuable from what I remember psycho I'm telling you, okay there's an oxygen tank or some kind of helium tank knock the nozzle off of it it hardly ever works Two, yeah, see it blows up and nothing happened. So there's two guys in there. I think I've killed one of them once doing that. Who's out there? Any business? My action points up too. Bad. Good thing about the pistol, you know, a lot of shots in vats. You get into longer range rifles and stuff and uh, get way fewer shots. I only get three shots out of this thing. More bolt actions like those. If you're going to play a sneaky sniper like I'm doing here, those things uh, become pretty powerful single shot weapons. The sneak attack multiplier makes it even better. Okay, finally got me a shotgun. Indoors, can't beat this. Not a lot of shots in it. Not, at least not this version anyway, but in pretty powerful. Shoot somebody in the face Come with this, on, it's pretty much over with. We got other shit to deal with. You hear that? I gotta go take a little walk, but I'll be back and you'll be dead. Come on. You know you want to come through this door. Oh. Ah. I 
it in the chesticle. Oh, come on. Damn door blocked half of it. Just Look out. Die. Get him, dog. Good oh, boy. chess piece normally you'd have to deal with one of those guys uh, across the way over there but he jumped off the ledge committed suicide at the beginning of this so Inside. that helped you notice any little hiccups like you did just there it's because I had to uh, pause the game for a few moments deal with domestic issues I have a pretty rambunctious house here I have to uh, cut it later on. So transitions aren't always the best, <laughs> let's say. Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. I know. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minuteman. I know perfectly well who you are, Preston. Glad to help. The neediest well, man in the true. Commonwealth. We could use some more goodwill. As you can see, we're in a bit ah, of a it's mess. It's not a big deal. I love Preston. Please, go on. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. First, it was the ghouls in Lexington, and now this mess. Sorry. Let's not be too mean. Sounds rough. Huh. Thanks. That it's good it. to meet someone who really cares. I really care. Anyway, we figured Concord would be a safe place to settle. Wrong. Those raiders proved us wrong. But maybe. Well, we do have one idea. Nope. Let's hear it. Sturgis. That character I made—he looks so pissed. There's a crash vertebrate up now on you the would roof. Be too. Old school, pre-war. You might have seen it. The old Matthew well, McConaughey looks Sturgis. Like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of cherry T-45 power. All right, all right, all right. Military issue. Uh, That's some yeah. serious protection. Oh, it gets better. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Minigun. Now we're talking. I know, right? Only there's one hitch. The suit's out of juice. Probably been dry for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. I think I can help you out, buddy. I'll help if I can. What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement. Locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Actually, I already grabbed the fusion core. Bingo. We're set. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders and know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. All right, good enough. Got the fusion core. There we go. Coffee cups good for ceramics. Careful, kid. There's Ooh, crazy old lady's talking coming. to me. Ma'am. Dog meat sure did find us some help. Just look at ya. Look at you. He's a good dog. Smart, too. Oh, indeed. Dog meat's good at finding folks who need him. And he'll stick by you now. I saw it. You saw it? Or it's saw the it? Cams, kid. They give old Mama Murphy the sight. Been that way for as long as I can remember. What's the sight? I can see a bit of what was and what will be. 
and even what is right now. And right now, I can see this something coming, drawn by the noise and the chaos. And it is angry. Well, no wonder y'all are sending me out there. What is it? She told Preston this Mama a little while ago. I need more, please. I'm, I'm Got something sorry, angry coming. Send the new guy. But I just don't know. The sight ain't always clear. But believe me when I tell you, it ain't a raider. <sighs> but I'm tired now. And if I ain't mistaken, Bleeding Gums Murphy. you've got a job Wasteland to Dental do. Care at its best right here. Take care of your teeth, lady. More coffee cups. Thank you, thank you. Clipboard for its cork, I believe. First bobblehead. Hell yeah. Perception. Okay. I'm afraid it's going to be really dark in the, the recording. I try to keep a lot of this stuff in the daytime when I can. Some of these dungeons are going to be dark enough as it is. And if I'm sneaking, I can't be going around with my light on all the time. But we will make do. Okay, before I go outside and step into this shit... I think we're going to go ahead and call it a part there. Thank you for joining me on Mad Cardigan. In this initial play out of Fallout 4, clear the map. And uh, we will see you in the next one.